hi everybody welcome once again to my youtube channel if today is the first time on this youtube channel i want to say welcome to this youtube channel i'm glad that you are here please do well to subscribe to this youtube channel share and feel free to ask a question in the comment section below and if you are a returning subscriber i i really want to appreciate you guys thank you for always staying out there thank you for your support thank you for the love you guys are the real g you are the real vvip so a very quick one i want to share an update with you mistake this is inevitable so as a graphic design as a clothes brander as a screen printer all right there are, it's possible that at some point you make mistake while customizing you know, your client's clothes so what should you do when you find yourself in a situation like this trust me you don't need to buy a new clothes yeah you might actually pay extra you know in in, in material but then it is too um better than you going out there to buy a new clothes and then no, now rebranding and all of that so i want to share this trick with you all right so i, I remember sometime last year when i was doing my youth service you know there's this client we have she makes cap and whenever she makes cap like that we brand name for her so uh, she came that day and um well she told me to brand the cap i did of course but by the time she returned to my greatest supply she was uh, surprised she was like no this is not what i want this name is small it's not visible i want it very big round about the cap and trust me what we've been doing for her previously was okay the name would just be one side of the cap but this time around and she was like ah no 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 she can't take this from me it's either i pay for the cap so that she make another one and then i will brand it for free imagine i, I was like ah wait to shall i i just told my boss about it and then he shared a trick with me Yes, and I feel I should also share with you because it might actually help someone. So, what is this trick? What do you need to do this? How can you rebrand your clothes from an old one to a new one? What are the things you need? So, I will be sharing with you in this video. So, stay tuned. So, in today's video, I will be rebranding this guy right here. As you can see, this is um, branded with um, DTF. So I, I'll be changing this logo on it to another one. So um, I just want to share this trick with you in case um, you might want to do something similar or you find yourself making a mistake with a client work and all. So instead of buying a new material entirely, you know, for the clothes, all right, so you can actually just try this and um, see how it goes. So stay tuned. I will be rebranding this. And I'll be changing the logo on it to another but first off I have to remove this one on it so watch how I do that okay. so you need a foam and you need a um, retarder for those of you in screen printing actually you know what um retarder is so I'll be dipping my foam in my retarder like this and um, I will be applying it on the surface you know of of the logo to so allow it soak for a while and um, okay so you can just start peeling it off like this uh, I'm sorry I couldn't give you a clearer view but um, I have to film this myself but then I am going to show you afterwards what it looks like all right so I'm starting with yeah it's gonna take a little while yes of course it's going to take a little while but it is achievable So I'm just scraping up with my um, fingernails. I'm scraping up with my fingernails. All right. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Sorry, I cannot give you a clearer view, right? Because I have to film this myself, and. Um, it's nobody to assist me right here but I will show to you what the end result is like 
So you just have to use your nail. Get it off, shaking it off. So, uh, don't mind me, I... Okay, so you can see, it's coming off gradually. It's coming off gradually, so, but then, we still have a long way to go. <sighs> Alright, so... Seems the retarder on it is as dry off. The retarder has dry off, so I have to apply more on the other surface. Okay, so what the retarder does is that um, it weakens. The uh, how will I put it now? You know, when you're doing heat tr transfer generally on any material, you you are doing it. It's like um at the end of the material, there's something like a gum, you know, that is allowing those materials stay on your t-shirt. So what Rutada does is that it weakens, you know, the the gumming parts of of those material. You can try with flock, with flex. And even DTF, just like I'm doing. So when it weakens them, it will be able, yeah, it will be easier for you to peel out. So just stay tuned. So I'm almost through there. I'm almost through here. So, but still have some few few um, distance to go. So I will still apply my retarder again with my foam, and you know, we keep trying until we achieve what we actually want to achieve. All right. So uh, digging my foam in my retarder again, more time and. Uh, applying gently it's just like you are dabbing <laughs> all right so you apply on it gently okay to weaken the other part so well, then we move from there okay so we try again So like I said earlier, um, this method works for um, flex, like if you, if you brand your clothes with flex or with flock sheet or with DTF, all right, I, I, I don't think it will work for DTM, for screen printing anyways, because when you're screen printing, especially with Placeto, yeah, yeah, even any ink, I don't think it will work for um, screen printing. I've not tried it anyways. Well, I've tried with flock, I've tried with um, 
this DTF I'm doing and I'm also um, with flex so and it works but for screen printing like, I mean when you print with with your ink we are printing it like placeto or water based ink like serites and all I, I don't think it will work though I'm yet to try it but I, I don't believe it will work all right but for any form of each transfer um, method you are using be it borderless and uh, borderless right DTF um, flog flex everything glitters and um, green dark anything at all as long as it is each transfer this will work out so you can see I'm almost through here but still remain some few parts to go so I'm, I'm going to work on that and then I will show you the results afterward then we do the rebranding all right so stay tuned it's a bit stressful yeah but then uh, it's it's worth doing right <laughs> all right so um on it we actually dry off and um, before we rebrand it so this is our outcome you know, the previous logo is gone and then we are rebranding so i'm going to sun dry this right now to allow it dry before i rebrand guys um this is it i've allowed it dry off and um uh, you can still see all the traces of the previous logo on it okay so uh, but then we remove it's just you know, it's just a, a practical training like so we'll be running this right now stay tuned so guys we are ready for rebranding right now so um I'll, i'm still using dtf to brand it again so this is my and this is my dtf sheet all right uh, this is my dtf sheet all right so this is the new logo that will be on it so and um trimming this up so this so this is where we are working with all right so good to go said earlier I have to film myself so uh, but I believe you guys can still see me okay so that's my detail sheet and of course I'm using my Teflon my Teflon sheet so I'm placing it on it like this and don't forget you know, I, I always say when you're working with DTF please don't allow your um, your presser or your hand So, don't allow your iron be too long and be too hot. All right, sorry about that. I have to bring my iron closer so I can you know, work. All right, so don't allow your iron to be to be too hot and don't let it stay too much on your material. So I've I've placed my logo on the T-shirt, right? And uh, okay, so my telephone sheet on it like this and. Here we go. This don't allow it stay too long. Just a little touch here and there, and then we are good to go. Because this guy here does not have strength for it too. to go again I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be more careful so I don't damage the apron and um, the, the work all right so don't mind me I'm just being careful right
All right, so I think we are good like this. And, um, okay, show me to see. All right, so all right, it's not staying yet. So I look at still have some few. Okay. It's not staying yet. So I think I have to go again. All right. You don't have to rush about it. Just be calm. So I'm carefully removing it like this. And here we are. So that's it. I, I'm going to show you. So I want to put um, my Teflon sheet on it to to dry, to press the work again on it so that it stay very well. Alright, so that is it. Alright, that is it. So, um, make sure everything is well glue. So, that is it, guys. So, this is our new apron. <laughs> okay, so this is the end product of it. Yeah, this looks really nice and good. Alright, uh, let me tell me how you feel in the comment section. But this is actually very nice. Uh, I like it. And now uh, you see, I got so stay tuned to this channel. Kindly subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share with your friends, share with your loved ones, and stay tuned. I have a lot to teach you guys, trust me, and you don't want to miss out. Thank you for your time. God bless you. See you in the next video.